Uh, with the early signing day, this has created a unique experience for us in terms of our program trying to manage uh, early enrollees, guys that are signing today, and then also having respect for the ones that will sign in February. We are very proud uh, to speak about these two young athletes today. We have four players that are going to be mid-year enrollees at their universities. Chris Steele is going to make his announcement and the All-American Bowl in San Antonio, Texas in January. And Raylan Goforth is making his announcement today on Fox Sports. I believe it's at 11 o'clock or right around there. Uh, so those two are not here with us, but they will also be announcing where they will attend today. We have other student athletes who will sign their letters of intent and will be recognized in a ceremony in February. Uh, Jake Bailey, uh, Derek Bedell will be attending Colorado University. Kobe Bowman signed today with Stanford University. As I mentioned, Raylan Goforth will announce later today. George Halani, Boise State University. Tyler is here. Uh, Trent McDuffie with Washington. Uh, Suava Poti, Oregon. Naeem Rodman, he signed with Colorado. Maris Talavao with Utah. Titus Toller, Wisconsin. And Jude Wolf will obviously talk about where he is going to go today. We are extremely blessed here at St. John Bosco to have the opportunity to work with such great student athletes that give us the opportunity to not only win football games, but to uh, let these kids achieve their dreams and allow them to go to college. And most importantly, for you parents, you don't have to pay for that, um, which is really, really a good thing as well. Uh, these guys are just amazing individuals. I'm very pleased and honored to be able to stand in front of you today and to be able to uh, recognize these young men for their accomplishments. Again, not only for what they do on the field, but what they do off the field. They are incredible young men who represent our school extremely well, and I'm very, very proud uh, to call and be a part of their lives and, and through this journey. So at this time, the first student athlete that I would like to call to the podium to announce where he will be attending school in January, because they are, again, early enrollees, would be our tight end, that's Jude Wolf. Jude? First and foremost, I'd like to start by thanking God for blessing me with, with the ability to be where I am today and the amazing opportunity I have in front of me. I'd also like to thank my family for their unconditional love and my parents especially for all they have sacrificed to put me in the best position possible. I love you guys. Thank you to Coach Negro for allowing me to be a part of such a special program that has given me so much. Thank you, Miss Jesse, for all of the hard work and dedication you put into this program behind the scenes. Thank you to all my coaches who helped uh, with my recruitment and development over these last three and a half years, especially Coach Munson, Coach Peking, Coach Adams, Coach Terry, and any other coach that has helped me along this journey. Thank you to all of the faculty and staff uh, at St. John Bosco. You guys gave me a new home for these past couple of years. To all my teammates, past and present, and my Bosco brothers, I love you guys and thank you for all the incredible times we've had. You're all my brothers for life. A special shout out to anybody who rode in the carpool with me. You made those 40 minute drives go by so fast. And finally, a super special thanks to all the athletic trainers, especially my favorite person here at Bosco, Miss Melody Mohebi. You've taken care of me in so many ways since I've been here, and I can't thank you enough for all you do for my teammates and I. I'm sad that I won't be able to spend another couple months with everyone here at Bosco, but I'm excited to take this next step in my life. The time I spent at the school truly helped mold me into the man I am today, and it has prepared me so well for my future. With that being said, I'm happy to announce I will be furthering my academic and athletic career at the University of Southern California. Thank you, Jude. We are very, like I said, fortunate to have guys that have the opportunities and, um, you know, all the things that Jude has been able to, you know, bless us with over the last four years has just really been an honor. And I'm really um, going to be sad to le see him leaving, but like any student athlete that leaves Bosco, they always come back. And that's probably the biggest testament that they could give to us and our program. The next student athlete that I'd like to bring to the podium was a linebacker for us, had an amazing, amazing year for us and helped us to achieve all the things uh, that we were able to accomplish. You know, with the league title, beating everybody that we played on our schedule at one point during the season. And we couldn't have done it without him. 
So at this time, I'd like to bring to the podium um, Mr. Spencer Lytle, who is going to uh, announce where he will be going. And I'm happy that I didn't say Tyler, because I've called him Tyler <laughs> for the past probably six months or so. So anyway, Spencer, please come to the podium. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to thank God for really everything that he's blessed me with and the ability to be where I am today. Even though I've only been here for the year, uh, this past year I came in transferred in January, uh, it's truly been a blessing. The people I've met over the last year here, it's it's really been good for me. Um, I'd like to say thank you to all the coaches, Coach Negro, Coach Terry, Coach Rob, everyone who's helped me throughout this process, uh, coaches at my old school as well. Um, couldn't have done it without you guys, really. Um, another shout out to Coach Malik, Coach Ed for everything they've helped me out in the off season, recruitment, everything like that. Uh, it's truly been a blessing to be a part of this family over here. It, it's something special. Uh, uh, I mean, that's about it. I just want to thank everyone again for coming out in all Wisconsin. <laughs> It is really cool to think that we have so many student athletes that are playing across the country. Um, you know, just, just over the last couple of days, I've been dealing with the University of Washington and Ohio State University because both of them are trying to practice here on uh, <laughs> December 31st prior to the Rose Bowl game. So far, we have Washington locked in and we're trying to get Ohio State, but I don't know how many schools across the country are going to have two Rose Bowl teams practicing on their facility before one of the biggest games in, in their program's career. So we're pretty excited about that. We think Bosco is a great destination. And the biggest thing that we're most proud about is what these guys do when they leave our program and how successful they become um, at their new schools. They always want to come back. They always want to be a part of what we're doing. Um, just had an opportunity to speak to two uh, college graduates that are finishing up their schooling and they're working out in the in the weight room right now of, of guys that went to Idaho State as well as, as well as Arizona State. I'm very, very fortunate to have the position that I have. I'm blessed. I thank the parents for trusting us with, you know, with your student athletes and allowing us to be able to work with them on a daily basis. It's certainly not easy, but those guys give us everything and anything that we ask of them, and that's a very unique quality that you guys have instilled in them, so thank you for that. So at this time, if you guys would grab your pins, and I know it's kind of already been done officially, but for us, I would like to um, have you guys please take this moment to sign your rec, uh, letters of intent for your respective university. Spencer Lytle and Jude Wolf. thank you. Okay, at this time, well, I'm gonna move some of this stuff out of the way and families, if you would like to take pictures, you're more than welcome to do so in front of the backdrop. We'll put a little music on. The rest of you guys gotta finish your finals. Good luck to you. And uh, we'll see you again in February. And hopefully, Spencer, I know it'll be tough for you, but Jude, if you could come back um, and join the podium with those guys again, it would be great for you to be able to share in that moment with uh, our ceremony in February. So again, thank you very much. God bless you guys. Drive carefully and always go Braves. Thank you.
去。